Hello beauties, it's me Tony. In today's video, we are going to talk about the goodies I got from Paris. You guys, if you're new to my channel, my channel focuses on a little bit of luxury. I like to do unboxings, fitness content, travel, and lifestyle. So if you like that sort of thing, then you're in the right place. So I went to Paris from like New Year's. Um, I was there right after Christmas to about New Year's, a little bit after New Year's Day, and then I came back home. So, very quick little trip, but I got a lot out of it, and I got to travel with my kids, so it was something that I really enjoyed. Um, and I got to shop, you guys. And I was thinking if I should uh, vlog it or not, because usually when I do like a big trip and I'm going out of the country, I usually try to vlog and show you guys what I'm doing. But Paris, I did not do that at all. I do have some clips here and there that I can share with you guys. Or if you're interested in my itinerary for that, feel free to like uh, DM me over there on Instagram at TonyJenae underscore and I'll give you all the deets. Or if you guys really want to see a video, I can put together some stuff. But my focus really was like spending time with my kids and that sort of thing. And I didn't want to be taken away from that time to be trying to vlog stuff for you guys so sorry but the part that you guys like because those videos don't get that many views anyways is seeing the stuff that i bought so i got a lot of things i got things from louis vuitton fendi gucci versace so i got a lot of things i had a little bonus before i went on a break so i really wasn't even planning on going to paris uh until giving week but i end up going right after the holidays which was the best time because that's when i got my little bonus so i was able to like spin the way i wanted to spin and not really worry about oh did i get that did i get that but um yeah so a lot of the things that i got have been on lists that i have talked about before i have not looked at my 2022 list from last year to see what it was that i wanted and did i get those things but i know a lot of these things i talked about that i liked and when i went to paris i was like i'm just gonna take it to paris to get them so let's talk about them all right so first with this video we're gonna start with the things that i got out of the actual boutique and then i also did some outlet shopping so i'll share boutique stuff outlet shopping talk a little bit about the pricing and taxes back and all that stuff so let's go we'll go with the first thing it's very something that i have been talking about that i wanted and it's from louis vuitton um i actually already have it but i needed a replacement and so when i seen it there i was like i gotta get this is actually like unboxings too because a lot of this stuff i have not opened since they wrapped it up for me on Paris. So, so here we go, a little Louis Vuitton unboxing. If you guys have followed me before, then you should know kind of what it is that I need that's in this little bitty box. But uh, look at the um, ribbon. I don't know if it's changed in the US store because I haven't bought anything from Louis Vuitton in a minute in the US. Um, but the ribbon has changed. It's usually like the blue writing. But um, this was from the store um, in Paris on like, I think it's like the main one, like Champs Elise store. I don't know if that's the main store or not. I haven't watched vlogs for Paris in a very long time, but I got this at the Champs Elise store. They said it's a big store. It didn't really look that big. So I don't know if that, I mean, it was big, but I don't know if that's the flagship store. Cause when people talk about it, they talk about it being really big. And I've been in Louis Vuitton stores that are kind of like that size. So I don't know. All right, so let's unbox it. We'll take the ribbon off. The little card thing doesn't say anything. Let's see, I don't think it does. No. So, this was a gift for myself. I also got my son a little Louis Vuitton wallet, too. And, but we're not unboxing his stuff. So, he did get, like, a little wallet. So, here is the item that I got. This is Louis Vuitton here. We're going to open it up. And... This is the one I wanted. Got another card case. My one that I have is red and tatted, so I definitely needed a new one. The seams on it feels so beautiful. If you see the one I have now, it's a mess. And I like that it's the reverse monogram. Now, you guys know I complain about monogram, monogram. I don't want to just keep buying monogram pieces. I like Louis Vuitton for their collections, like the collections that that they have that come out. I'd rather have those than just a monogram piece, but I do like the re reverse monogram. And this would have been the original one I got, but when I went to the store, they didn't have this one. So I ended up just getting the plain monogram with the brown at the top, but this one oh, feels so good. I need to replace my cards in it, but I didn't want to do this without showing it to you guys. So yes, it does fit a lot. My Mine's head has been stretched to the core. So the one that I had before, this one actually retailed, I think it was like 190. And if you know right now, I think in the States, I think it's 190 euros it retailed for. And in the States now, I think it's like 260. 
So good deal. When I seen it under two hundred dollars, I was like, Psh, I'm gonna get it. But then when you do the conversions with euros and all that kind of stuff, but you do get back if you want to get it back on your card, you'll get twelve percent back on your card or ten percent um back in um. 10% back if you get cash at the airport, but the cash at the airport is euros. So I still have euros that I need to go take to the bank to convert back to my cash. But yeah, this is my little card case. So I'm very excited about this one. I'm going to keep it out today because I think I'm going to change the one I have, put it, the new one in, or just have like two different sets, like one for different occasions. Like because there's cards I only use for certain things and there's cards I use for other things. So I'm going to still wear out that everyday one and then I'll put my special occasion cards in here. I don't know. We got to figure something out. But yes, I got a card case. I really like it. It's very pretty. Let me show you again. Up close and personal. There we go. And then on the other side. There we go. Very cute. And it's just pockets. I really should have bought a wallet, but I didn't. And on the inside, that says Louis Vuitton. And you can see that in there. And it says what it is. It's coated fabric. It's Vachetta leather. That's what it says. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that back. Now, the next item that I got is also from Louis Vuitton. And this is a piece that I've seen in Panama and that I've seen before. And then I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. But in Panama, the price was like too much for me. And then when I seen it in um, the store in Paris, same one, Champs at least. Um, this actually, I don't know if my other bags actually say like this part on there, the Paris part on there i don't think it does mason fonde i don't think it says all that so that's the bag i got two bags that came with it but when you're packing to come back i don't put any of the bags i try to I, I kept these bags but i don't really need to keep the bags but um i don't pack these together i just put all of my luxury stuff in my carry-on and then the boxes and stuff if they're too big they go into what i'm checking and then i just take all the stuff out of the box so that i still have everything so i'm not losing my expensive stuff and the clothes that i already wore i figure nobody's gonna want it so i just put it in there even though those are things i love somebody else might not so the next thing i got um uh, it did come wrapped too as well but it, it came off in the process same type of ribbon really cute ribbon like it could be like a hair bow or something i don't know or something um here's what it is can you guys guess what it is in the box i'm trying to find the louis vuitton here we go <laughs> can you guys guess what it is in the box let me know below if you think you know what it is it's pretty simple if you can tell the box so we're gonna open it up Mm -hmm. we got some sunglasses i was very excited about these sunglasses i think i did like a video try on and some louis vuitton or some chanel sunglasses i think it was louis vuitton ones that i had been talking about i wanted for the longest it came with this little booklet and when i see them there i think these were like 380 or 360 or something like that whatever it said on the tag the taxes were already included so it was like 360 or 380 or something like that which when i seen these in panama they were like 500 and something and so i was like nope i'll get something else for that price and i was just like i'll just wait i didn't know i was going to paris i do know that i like to travel so i figured i can just pick up the more expensive things when i travel and then it's more like a, a special gift to me so um here's the case for them it's just louis vuitton in this blue case and it has a dust bag what i will say about louis vuitton um sunglasses they're made very well like the best probably the best feeling sunglasses i've felt but they're kind of heavy so it depends on if you like heavy glasses or not they feel heavy and i like that i like to, something to feel like quality and not cheap so here's my sunglasses i had been talking about these for so long i think i know i did a video on these i've been talking about them so long they're very like simple chic i like that about them they have the little stars for the louis vuitton on them and on the side they have the lv i just like how subtle it is you guys know i like subtle things you can see it has like a look, the little star thing on the tips. Same thing on the other side. And they look so good. Like, let's use them on my face, okay? They fit in my face very good. Do you see them? I just really like uh, the look of these sunglasses. I just think they look really good. I also can put them on my head even though they don't suggest doing that. But if I can't put it up here, it ain't going to work for me. But... They are some very good, good sunglasses, and I like just how basic, chic they look. And so I was very happy to get these <laughs> sunglasses. Also in the store, um, I was also thinking about getting, I have been talking about a while, for a while that I was gonna get a Speedy, 
um and i wanted to get the blue and white the damier azure one and they end up having one without the uh, strap i think it was a 30 um and the price for it was like a thousand a thousand ninety five or something like that and i think here they might be like 14 something now i think so but i was going to get it and then i was thinking like it didn't wow me so i'm not just gonna be buying things that don't wow me that don't suit me that don't fit and i think everything that i got from louis vuitton it was like yeah i like it yeah i like it i want it just keep it like and then with the speedy it was like mm, okay maybe another one maybe i'll try something else it just didn't wow me and when i tried on the speedy before i thought it really wowed me i'm just all this year being more intentional with my purchases and not feeling like i have to buy things like and i don't think the sales associate really pressured me to buy anything she was just like it's good we usually don't have it and they had to look around for it and she ended up finding it and i was just like ah I don't think I want it. And so you have to be <laughs> intentional with yourself and not just buy things because you feel pressure and that sort of thing. And I've talked about this before. Um, sometimes in luxury stores, you do feel pressure because you don't want to feel like an imposter in a store, but you're there to spend your money and like, don't buy anything you don't want. And that's what I'm trying to live up to. If I know I don't love it, especially luxury stuff, it's expensive. I don't want to spend a thousand dollars and then be like, I need to wear this bag and I don't really want to wear it. So. I didn't get the speedy but they did have it only one though so if you're there you're lucky when they got it good luck <laughs> good job okay so putting all this stuff back packaged all nicely gonna put it away can't wait till it gets a sunny enough day for me to wear my glasses because it's not sunny today where i'm at so yeah the next item i bought is from fendi here's the little bag it came in they had a little raincoat over it this is like the first fendi thing i bought in store i do have fendi shoes Fendi sunglasses, Fendi hats, a Fendi hat. I have all kind of Fendi stuff. I like Fendi. I like the FF. It's just, I like Fendi. So, um, but this is the first thing I actually bought inside of a boutique. So I was very happy to go into the boutique. Thought the experience would be a little bit different, but it was a cool experience. I felt like they did cater to me and that sort of thing. Here's the thing. It did not come in a box. So I was kind of pooey about it because when they showed it to me, they pulled it out of the box. However, they didn't give me a box when they gave it to me. And I should have been adamant and asked like, hey, can, I, can you make sure you give me a box? They didn't do that, but it's okay. I'm not worried about it because it'll be warm. So... I got, what do you think I got? I've been talking about this. This was definitely a wish list item or something that I really wanted and have been talking about in a couple of videos. I haven't done videos in a long time. So probably some of my more recent ones, I set up what I was going to get. And I said I was going to buy a second hand, but then I was like, if I go to Paris, I'll get it in Paris. And when I was in Paris, I bought one in Paris. So actually not one, I bought two in Paris, but we're going to talk about this one first. So this is what i decided to get green is my favorite favorite color so i got the little fendi um nano baguette okay it retails for oh it doesn't have the price but this is a nano baguette maxi buckle canvas um and the king i think it's wasabi it's like a wasabi color so here's the card details for it that was still in there okay and then has the chain what i like about the chain on the inside it has the pink one print that throwback print um it has the ffs all over it okay it has a little clip if you want to like clip it on your pants i don't think i'll wear it like that but or your pot or or on a purse because they do clip these on types of purses green is my favorite color i plan on wearing this with like jeans and a t-shirt or jeans and like a collared shirt or something like that like a white shirt pretty simple summertime i might get some green shoes but i don't really need to do that i have white shoes but um yeah pretty cool it still has the thing on it it's a gold i don't know if you can see the buckle it's gold um and what i like about this one compared to um the other ones the other like mini bags that i have it's an adjustable strap and for me i am a mid-size okay mid-size like i'm barely in right like i barely can go to a store and find something i can fit like that fits me well so i'm not in the <laughs> i can't really go to any store i can but i can't so i can go to stores and if they happen to have the largest size i probably can fit it right i'm working on myself whatever so um it's sometimes it's hard to get things to fit over my body and lay the where i want to wear i would say though the fendi uh this one is very like bigger girl friendly like if you're not a stick it's very bigger girl friendly like um i have my 
Balenciaga mini bag and it's it wasn't like where it laid on me it like stopped up here this will lay all the way across to the bottom and I love that about it and it, it can extend and it has the gold adjustable chain to it there's some that don't have the adjustable chain this one does um and it just adjusts very well and you can even carry it like if you want to do a little mini shoulder you could do that too I, I wouldn't do that but you know it adjusts very well and it's a good crossbody. So I really like this bag a lot. And it was between this one and like a sparkly green one. But my son was like, the sparkly green one's kind of kitty. And I was like, okay, I guess. <laughs> it has Fendi right here too. Um, I was like, okay. And the sparkly green one I think was like $8.90. And if you've seen it in the US, I think it's about 12 something. So I was going to get the sparkly one because I was like, that's a good one. I think this one was 6 something. Um... But then again, I'm getting I'm getting 10% back or 12% back, depending on how I did you exchanged it. So it was a pretty decent deal because I think these are regularly like seven something for us, seven or six something for us, but it was like five something. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and I was gonna get the, the regular one too, but I have a lot of brown prints. So I'm trying not to buy the same color bags, even though they are a different brand because I can wear those bags with anything, right? So, I love a crossbody. Love this little bag. I feel like I talked about it too much, but it is the cutest little cloth bag, and I'm just really excited to wear it. So, there we go. That's what we got from Fendi in the store. I don't know what I did with the bag. Okay. That is all I got, like, in the actual stores, other than, like I said, I did get my son a wallet, and I did get him some shoes from uh, Dior and stuff like that. So, I did get, like, a little small stuff for him that he's done for the rest of the year, I told him, because I was not planning on spending money like that on him. He's done. Um, but uh, we're going to go with what I got from the outlet. And sticking with Fendi, we're going to go with what I got from the Fendi outlet. I was telling my son, my son's older, so I was just telling him how um, I'm going to go back and get the other bag if, you know, because they have it, they had a purple one too, purple sparkly one. I'm going to go get the other baguette if I go to the outlet and I don't find it then you know i'll just go get go back to the other finney store and get it well we went to the outlet the last day there because on the first all the other stores are closed but the outlet is open the outlet is like near disney um like a stop before disney we also went to disneyland paris too had a wonderful time um but i was like if they have one there i'm just gonna buy a baguette there i know they'll have one there i'm gonna buy a baguette so i went there got this pretty baguette oh my goodness i really like this one and this one was like three something so i was like i gotta get this baguette like i would have bought more but the other ones they had i didn't really like but this one i really like i actually already wore this one they do not fit much of anything um if you wanted me to do what fits inside maybe i'll do that really quickly i do have some money in there a couple of dollars i went to a birthday party have some broken lip gloss in there you see it fill out um Credit cards do fit in there because all of mine was able to stack in there easily. So it will fit what you need it to fit um, in it, which I like that about it compared to like my other bag. It doesn't fit as much. My little mini bags that I have, like my Balenciaga City Mini Nano something that I have that I did a video on. I'll link that in the cards for you guys. But this one is so cute and i just really really like it and i think it'll look good with my like all black outfits i actually wore like all black yesterday and threw this on i just thought it was just a cute and a nice touch of like color pop of color so yes and it says fendi there um backwards <laughs> it says fendi here um when you open up on the inside it doesn't have the pink one print but it's like a leather looking print i'm pretty sure it's probably leather and it's just a, a really cute little bag that i enjoyed wearing the other day it's cute i thought i thought it i thought it was really cute so yeah that's my little bag for today my two little bags that i got these were the only yeah only bought two bags and it was these two these two little baguettes they're so cute i'm i'm so excited to wear these like super duper excited to wear these little mini bags and that's why i'm glad i did this video so i can share with this video was actually really long it's like 20 something minutes that means I bought way too much stuff. Okay, so next thing we got also outlet was from Gucci. Um, this this is the box. This is the box um, for it. I don't know what shoe it is. Oh, I do know what shoes it is. Okay, this is the box for it. 
came with dust bags i have two like dust bags this is like the old box shoestring so you know i got tennis shoes i'm gonna show you shoes because they're not in here because i took things out of the bag because that's just what we do let me get the shoes here are the shoes <laughs> I actually wore these already, which is why they're really not in the box. And if you look at the bottom, they're horrible. But I wore these. I really liked how subtle the GGs were. I need to figure out how to clean that. See, that's why you shouldn't wear stuff. Uh, I got a little, little thing on the canvas, but I think I can clean that off. Um, they're like a tan color shoe. Um, I got these from the Gucci outlet. I haven't seen these. I actually haven't seen these in any other Gucci outlet before but i just really liked how subtle these are i wore these to work and normally people will notice like designer when i'm having on designer stuff nobody noticed or said anything to me about it so i was like okay these are cool to wear because i wanted to try them out but you have to really be looking to see the ggs to tell that it's gucci but i really really like the shoes and they were only like they were 250 euros 245 euros or something like that and plus i got the 10 percent back so they're like $200. So people buy Jordans for that price, right? So I thought they were very nice, cool shoe to wear. And I like to do an all tan affair type thing. So I'm like, these will be perfect. Go good. Okay. Now let's go to the next pair of shoes. I also got from Gucci. Gucci, 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 Gucci. Here's the box that came in. It's a little rough. This is a new Gucci box design. See what's in here. Also came with shoestrings and the Gucci bags. And if I if they have the name that I can tell you the name, then I'll tell you. But on that box, it didn't have the name, and on this one, I don't think they have the name either. They took it off, so I don't know the name of them. But, oh, I do know what type of sneaker they are, though. They're the 1979 sneaker. I had been dying for a pair of these, but these ones are even cooler because, you see them, they're really cute. I really like the green and the thing and then the fact that they don't say the Gucci on the side. They do have the little GGs in the front, um, and they do say Gucci on here, but they're mesh. So perfect for summer. I'm the type of person, if you know me, I don't wear socks. I don't have to put on a pair of socks in these. I just really like, I don't wear them unless they're a necessity or they're part of a look. For the most part, I'm like sockless. I like my feet to be free. So, and I got these in a size 39. I think both of these shoes were bought in a 39 and a half. And usually I'm a 40. I can't see the size on these ones. I don't know where they put the size at on these ones. But yeah, these are 1977 sneakers, the tennis sneakers. And I just think they're such a classic shoe. And they already have like a little grunge color to them. So if they get dirty, they're not like a stark white sneaker. And I like that about them that my shoes tend to get dirty. And I was just looking at my like closet room. Um, and that's where I usually film. But I was looking at it. I'm like, I have all these white shoes because I'm always buying white shoes because I'm like, okay, I want to be able to switch these up more. These for this occasion, these for this occasion. And they not get messy, but these... I'm excited to wear these. Like, these are going to set it off. And green is one of my favorite colors. So, yay. Those are the sneakers I got. And these were also, I seen, now, I should have questioned it. But when I was there, I looked at the bottom of the shoe and it said $195 or $150, like 150 or something like that. When I checked out, it was like two. But I still got them because I was like, are you? And I think they probably got these out the men's because when I looked at the men's sections, they were two fifty. But the women's they had a sticker on it that said one like forty five, and I was like, "Ooh, I gotta get these. These are good prices." Um, so I got these shoes, very cute. She found like closest to my size, and I was just loving it. All right, so those were my outlet. The last thing that I got was from Versace. Um, I was looking for something that I can get that was more like a ready to wear piece, but something that I could wear. Um, more frequently, the only thing that I have that's like a ready to wear piece is from Burberry and that's my Burberry trench coat, which I have pulled out since that video of like the things that I bought that I really don't use that were luxury, which, which the trench coat was, but I have pulled it out since then. And, um, I was like, okay, I want to find a ready to wear piece that I can wear often too. And, um, I got this Versace, uh, coat, jacket, jacket. For the spring, it has the little Versace on this 
on the sleeve. I thought this was really cute. I got it in size large. Um, it's It was from the men's department though. And they had a gold one that I was gonna get too. It was 330, but it was a little bit more thicker. And I thought this, I could do more layering if I wanted to be warmer, but I could just wear this anytime. I thought this would be perfect when I'm throwing on my like leggings and t-shirt and just trying to go out for like my son's basketball games or anything like that. I just thought it was really chill, chill look. Uh, and it has like the Medusa, I believe that's, you see her, you see her? Okay, Medusa head looking thing. And it says Versace. And like I said, I got it in size large. I won't be showing any of these things. If I style anything, I will show you how I style them. But follow me over there on Instagram because I'm going to try to do more of that piece. Um, but yeah, that is what I got from Versace. And this was like two something too. So I was like, okay, it's cool. It didn't come with a box or anything. I did get the little Versace bag. But I have the Versace bag and boxes and stuff before from things I've purchased. I do like Versace a lot uh, for certain things like swimwear um, and... Yeah, and like the robe. I do have Versace robe and stuff like that. So I do like Versace. And when I see that, I was like, I got to get it. Actually, I seen this link for Versace robe for like 100 and something. It was the same one I had, which is why I didn't get it. But I was like, so there's deals out there, you guys. You need to be following your people. If you haven't, follow me over there on Instagram and ask me yet about who I follow. Because that's where I see all the deals. You better do so, okay? Because I'm telling you, that's where the deals be at. But yeah. That's really all I have for this video, you guys. It's almost 30 minutes. But I think once I cut out some of the getting up, it'll be a little bit quicker. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I got a lot of stuff from here. I'm really excited for the stuff I got. My luxury pieces. Just things to add to my closet. Because a lot of these things were things that I had on my wish list that I really wanted. And when I got to Paris, my dreams came true. I don't think... I don't know what I'm going to put on my luxury wish, li wish list. But wait because next week I think that's the video I'm gonna do so I think I'm gonna go back to just at least posting it one video a week and so I think next week I'll post my luxury wish list video so if you guys want to see that then make sure you like you comment you subscribe you guys okay because I'm gonna be more consistent at least one video a week this year uh we are trying to grow this channel we have already made to 500 subscribers trying to get to a thousand trying to keep that watch time up trying to keep those comments coming in I just really appreciate you guys watching this video um because you could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here, and I appreciate that. Hope you guys have a good night, good morning, a good evening, whenever you're choosing to watch this video. And you guys, before you go, watch another one of my videos, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.